Right, now I'd like to tell you about this. This is a little message I've got for you. For all of you. The whole world. Every one of you. You can read it. You can like it. You can dislike it. Or you can say it's nothing at all and throw it away. I personally don't care what you do with it. I'd just like you to basically understand this little thing. It's a very easy little thing to understand. Yeah? Most people don't. For some reason. They've been told other things. And they think that's right. I personally think some of the things they think are right. But not all of the things they think are right. Some of them are. Anyway, I've got different reasons for doing things. I'm doing this for the benefit of my children and the benefit of your children the benefit of my friends and your friends I'm also doing it for the benefit of my enemies I'm doing it for the benefit of whole mankind I know that might sound fucking egotistical and that but maybe it does but after sitting meditating for many years I've had to give this message well this is the only way I can think of doing it so here we go my message to you is Yog for world peace for world truth and for world understanding. One world, one people, one God. What is Yog? Yog is meditation. Meditation is a process of worship recommended in the Bhagavad Gita and the Upanishads, ancient Sanskrit text. What is peace? Peace is a state in which we are in understanding and in tune with the whole. What is understanding? Understanding comes when we see the truth. Now, what is the truth? Yeah. Well, the truth is we are all but one. One people, one world, one God. Undivided. The same God for all religions, past, present and future. There have been many names for God. And that's only right. Since we've become so separated from each other, so many different families. Christian, Jew, Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist. Astro-Zionist, Taoist, oh they go on, many many different religions and all the sub-religions are them religions, the different groups and this is our part of this religion and that's your part of this religion and they fight about that as well, what's all that about? So many different families, so many different countries, so many different political groups and so many different interests it's not difficult to see why we've become so divided. And there's so much division in the world. What is God? Now this one, yeah, is very important. Because this one is very misunderstood. The word, God, makes people angry sometimes. Oh, I don't believe in a God. Okay, fair enough. But, this God is three-lettered word. It's a very small go word. God. God. Well, it means so much. It means so little to some people. But to me, it means a lot. Yeah? And this is, what is God? What it means to me. It might not be what it means to you, but this is how I understand it. This is why I'm doing this. I do it for everyone here. For the whole world. I walk with peace and love and truth to spread a message that we're one people. Because, what is God? God is the energy that runs through all things, all, all times. God is life force in all living things. God is all things past, present and future. God is the whole. God is the fabric of the universe. We live in the body of God and God lives within our bodies. We're a part of the whole. And the whole it is the form of all that there is, seen and unseen. That is what God is. And so much more. There are but two temples where God is ever present. The first is the planet we live on. The second is the heart within each and every living thing. This earth is a manifest form of God. Respect it. No planet earth, no us. No respect for the earth is no respect for God. Keep this temple clean. Clean the earth. It is the first temple. It is 
God. God is it. It is this. It is that. It is here. It is there. It is everywhere. It is the whole. Meditate on this and see if you can find understanding in this. I hope you do all the best. Nancy Schwartz, Tim Bubba. On the back, there's email and addresses, sites. Google it. That's the message I'm giving out. And as I've said, the reasons. And the solution to our world's problems is peace, love and harmony. If your fellow man needs help, help him. Not for self-gain, but because it's the right thing to do. If someone's starving in the world, feed them. Not for future profit, but because it's the right thing to do. If people are dying from war, then step in and stop it. Cut off their arms. Stop selling them the weapons. Stop selling these military the, the things to hurt people. And send peace, a peace force in to look after the people. A peace force with teeth though that can kick back at the bullies. Because this world at the moment is ruled by bullies. And we the peaceful people of the world, the normal people, we don't want any of this fighting and aggression. We just want to live in harmony. I want to live in harmony with this world. This world that God created, all these flowers, birds, trees, plants that God created through evolution over thousands of years. All this beautiful nature, all these beautiful mountains, cliffs, rivers that we're poisoning, we're damaging. And us the people, we the people, we are the only people who can change it because the people who are profiting off it won't change it. So we the people, through peaceful means, not through violence, because violence never solves anything. It creates more tension and aggravation. And we don't need tension and aggravation in this world. We need understanding and love and harmony. Where people treat people right because it's the right thing to do and not the profitable one. People, look at this world. Look at the beauty in it. Look at the ugliness that has been caused. And think, well, the beauty should be over all things. And clean that ugliness up. Change that picture. So the betterment of all of us, all of our children, all of our grandchildren, out of respect for this, the whole. Respect the whole, not the money. The money is an illusion. All this is an illusion. Look at your cities you live in. Big concrete jungles, no connection with the nature. This isn't how we're meant to live. This is like battery farms for chickens. We're meant to be living in harmony with the whole. Not damaging it, destroying it. Look at the world, look at the trees, look at the flowers. Look at all the birds. Look at the butterflies. All created by it. For us. To get pleasure from. And most people don't even see it today, because it's all covered up with concrete. And fast motorways that go flying through it. So me now, I'm going to get on my horses in a couple of weeks. And I want to ride through this beautiful world while it's still there. And spread the word of unity and love, peace and understanding. I hope it has some effect on the rest of the world. And I apologise to anyone I offend by doing this. But I'm sorry. Thank you.